Yo, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? I know, I know. Y'all y'all not ready for this. Y'all not ready. But get ready for another episode of Lockout Men Mates the Call. Who I'm gonna gonna call today. Welcome back to the stage of history. What's good everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I do this for you guys. You know what I'm saying? That's I love doing this for you guys. It helps me to get information and it helps you to get information on these companies that you that you might be interested in going to. Before I get into this episode, I want to let you guys know that if you hadn't already done it, make sure that you download Driver Pulse. Alright? It's the app. It's, it's the truck driver's app to get connected to all these trucking companies out here. I'm connected to over 80 trucking companies out here. And you guys should get connected as well. Driver Pulse. Make sure you get it. Today's episode. All right. Let's get into it. In the comments, you know, I ask you guys who you guys want me to call next. And you guys, you know, let me know in the comments who you guys is interested in me calling next, right? So I went back to that video and I looked in there and I found my man, JP. He said, you should call TMC and Melton Truck Lines. I said back to him in, the, um, in a reply, I said, I got you. Melton, you know, with the popularity of uh, Guilty 718's channel, Melton Truck Lines probably might be a good call to make. So, today's call, Melton Truck Lines. Let's get them on the phone and let's see what they talking about. Now, I was able to pull Melton Truck Lines up on the uh, driver poles. So, Melton Truck Lines is one of the trucking companies that you can apply directly through Driver Pulse. And again, if you haven't got Driver Pulse, make sure you da download it. Am I saying Driver Pulse? Driver Pulse. Like the heartbeat pulse. Check the pulse. You, you, you guys know what I mean. All right, let's, let's get into this call, man. Let's get into this call. Melton Truck Lines Recruiting. Your call may be recorded for quality and or training purposes. Melton Truck Line Recruiting oh, is Lucy. Messaging. Lucy, how are you doing this evening? Or this morning, I should say. Good, and how are you doing? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm interested in finding out about uh, Melton Truck Line. I thought I'd give you guys a call to find out a little bit more about what you guys are. Uh, what you guys offering? Perfect. Okay, and what is your name? Uh, my name is LaShawn. Hey, LaShawn, thank you for calling us this morning. And where do you live? What city and state? Uh, I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, perfect. All right, LaShawn, let me just get a little bit of information from you. And, um, tell me about your experience. How much over-the-road experience do you have? Uh, I have over. I have three years. Oh, perfect. Okay. And you're still with a company right now? Yes, I am. So I'm, I'm just basically okay. just calling just to see if, you know, see what you guys can offer. I don't want to do nothing yet because I'm still with, with my present company. Right. Yeah, no, that's fine. Perfect. Well, again, thank you for calling us today, Hunt, and you'll talk with our company with your experience. Our drivers are from about between 50 to 51 cents a mile, $50 tar pay. Um, we get you home about every two weeks for about two days. And as far as our mall average, we're averaging about um, about 24 to 2600 miles a week right now. Okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Um, and this is just general questions that uh, that I'm curious about. Um, I'm also not asking for myself, but I got a couple of I got a couple of you know people that's interested too, but they wanted to see what I can come up with before they make their decision as well. Uh, do you guys offer uh, CDL training? 
We don't, we, we don't offer the, as far as to get their CDL license, we don't have a program yet. We do train students after they get their license. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So you say you, you, say you guys do, uh, do training uh, after they get their license, right? So where's the, uh, right. where's, where's the orientation here? We have orientations in Birmingham, Alabama, Youngstown, Ohio, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, so if I was interested in coming on, I would be going to the uh, Youngstown terminal. Is that a terminal or? Correct. Okay. Yes, that's a terminal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you get paid for orientation, and how long is orientation? It's a five-day orientation. It runs from Sunday through Thursday. And we provide your transportation, your hotel, your breakfast, and your lunch. For the five days right now, we're offering a thousand dollar orientation pay. All right, yes. so it's a, so it's a thousand dollars orientation pay. Now let me ask you. Yes. Now let me ask you this: Do do we still get that if if we even if we don't complete the orientation? No, and it's upon completion of the orientation. Oh, uh, it's okay. Okay. Now, since you said earlier that you guys train uh, new drivers, how long is the training time with the trainer? Um, so they'll be with the trainer for a minimum of at least three weeks. They'll complete our training at our facility first, and then after that, they'll go out with them for at least three weeks. All right. So with, so with that trainer, how, what's the average wait time for a trainer? Like when they come in and they, you know, have to wait for a trainer. Once they once they complete their training and their their wait time to get on with the trainer, it depends on if they um, have an automatic restriction on their license or not. But it could be anywhere from a day to a week. Oh. But during that time, they're still getting paid while they're waiting for the trainer, and they're also continuing training at our facility. Okay, so that's what I was about to ask. Do do they get paid during training? How much is how much is that pay for yes. uh, for uh, during training? <laughs> While they're at our facility, the time that they're here, they're paid five hundred dollars. When they go out with their trainer, they're paid at ninety dollars a day, so it's six hundred and thirty dollars a week. How much experience a typical trainer there has? The trainer has to be right now. Well, they have to have been with us for Melton at least for nine months to a year as safe driving with Melton. Gotcha. Okay. So they have previous experience driving, but safe driving with Melton. So after they get out of so after they get out of training, are they are are they forced to team after they get out of training? No, we're we're mainly a solo company. They do we do teams, but you have to bring your own team partner with you. Oh, okay. So you guys don't match no nobody up. Right. No. Okay. Okay. Now, like like you said earlier, I'm out of Ohio, so of course you hire out of Ohio. But what are the other higher areas that you guys hire out of? We hire from all 48 states, so we hire from everywhere. Okay. How many terminals do you guys have? We have um, the five we have in, like I said, Youngstown, Ohio, Birmingham, Alabama. Our headquarters is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then we have a terminal in Laredo and El Paso, Texas. Okay. Y'all do a lot of loads down to Texas? We do, yes. Oh, awesome! Because I like Texas. I like uh, I like Houston. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, is there good, a sign? Good. <laughs> is there a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much is it paid, and how is it paid out? Yes. Um, can you hold just a quick moment for me? Hold on. Let me just get something or uh, ask some questions on that one because it just changed. Okay. So bear with me. All right. Okay, so I wanted to make sure because it just changed. They've actually increased it. So, okay, so there's a thousand dollar orientation pay. Right. You also get a thousand dollar guarantee pay after your 60 day anniversary, and then you get a three thousand dollar sign on bonus. And the way that's paid out is you get five hundred dollars following your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth month. Okay, so it basically, it's all paid out within the first year. Within the first six months. Within the first, yeah, six, six months. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So let's say I'm interested <laughs> yeah. in coming to board, right? Um, I talk with other companies, 
that's let's say that's offering five cent more than I mean five cent more to you guys. You say that you guys start at like you know for me being experienced is fifty to fifty one cent a mile, but let's say that the the one company offered me fifty five cent. Will you be able? Will you be willing to match that? No, and we have our set of pay scale. We have a lot to offer. Um, our, we have top of the line benefits also. There's a lot more than just this it's from what Melton offers. Um, and like I said, it's a very set pay scale. So we're not going to go max something because we don't know what else they're offering or what they're not offering you know, versus what that we do. Okay. For pre-employment drug testing, do you guys require hair follicle tests? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Explain that, please. It goes back three to six months. So they just take his peer samples, and it goes back three to six months. Okay, okay. Is there an agenda? Well, I'm assuming that being, being that this is flatbed, there is an agility test requirement, right? Right. You have to be able to lift up to 90 pounds and then balance on each set for 30 seconds. Okay. What's your policy on felony? Um, on felons, on guys with felonies. It doesn't. Well, it depends when it was and what it was, and what else is on the background. Is it just one? Is it multiple? So it just really depends the big picture. Okay. Okay. Um. So the CPM, right? You said uh, I can start at fifty to fifty-one cent a mile. Is that? Is that straight out of the box, or is that fifty-one, that fifty to fifty-one cent includes incentives? Yeah, you know, that's straight out of the box. That's just straight pay, and then plus your fifty dollars hard pay. Um, if you want to do hazmat loads, we'll pay an additional six and six per mile. If you want to do Canada loads, that pays an additional six and six per mile. Okay. Over dimensional loads, pays an additional eight and six per mile. So the fifty to fifty-one is just straight pay, empty and loaded miles. Alright. Is the pay is the pay based on straight miles or is there a sliding scale? No sliding scales. It's just a flat rate. Like the following week. But my question is, do you guys offer pay advances? Yes. So again when you get out of orientation you're gonna get your orientation pay. And then um, you get a hundred dollar advance a week. So we have computer orientation on Thursday. That next week on Friday, you get your full paycheck. Okay, will another pay, you're going to say a full paycheck at that point. Okay, but in the middle of all that, if I need some money, I can I can get an advance out. Then that's $100? They advance you $100. Okay. Yeah, $100 a week. All right. How often, do, how often do the pay increase? It goes up by your miles. So um, depending on what pay rate you come in, if once you run 120,000, but say that you come in at 50 cents a mile, once you run 150, sorry, 120,000 miles for Melton, you go to 51 cents a mile. 360,000 miles, you go to 52 cents a mile. And right now our top pay is 56 cents a mile. Um, but with Melton, we're always looking at our pay, making sure that we stay at least a, tie, a top 5% in the industry. Okay. So, I mean, we, we know that we have top pay. Okay. Per diem. Is it offered and is it mandatory? It's not offered, so it's not mandatory, no. Oh, okay. Do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? Yes, you get six holidays paid. It's $30 a holiday. And then in your um, vacation, you get one week after one year, two weeks after two years, and three weeks after ten years. How much is the pay on that? It's going to be an average of what your previous year, what you made. Oh, okay, okay. Do you guys offer breakdown pay and detention pay? And if so, what's, what's, how much how much we get? Okay. Yes, yeah, so on your detention time, starting on your third hour, it's $15 an hour. On your layover, your breakdown, what you need to deliver, after 24 hours, it's $50. And every 24 hours after that, it's $75. Okay. How often do layovers happen, and what's the pay on that? So it's just like, again, the $50 after 24 hours and then $75 every 24 hours after that. And to be honest, I don't have a person to read of how often they happen. I just know that right now we have a lot of freight. This is our peak season. Um, 
we're just we're very busy right now. Okay. So we just with with the time that we encourage our drivers, if you're able to stay out longer than your two weeks, stay out because this when when the freight's really heavy. And then your home time, you can't accumulate your home time. So say that you go out two three weeks, you only go home for a day here and there. Days that you don't use, you accumulate them. You don't ever lose them. Okay. So this is uh this is flatbed, right? Is there is there multiple stops in flatbed? Right. There is, and if you have an extra stop, it's twenty five dollars for the extra stop. And if you have to add top or retarp, it's an additional ten. Um, what benefits do you guys offer? We have medical, dental, vision, prescription plan, four one k, and life insurance. Um, now for the medical, everything kicks in sixty days after your date of hire. All right. So for the medical benefits, is is that? paid by you guys or is that like you guys pay half and I pay half and if so how much how much the I company, come out yeah the company the company does pay a percentage would it be for you only or you and family me and the family right for your medical dental vision and prescription plan for your medical insurance it would run you it's about $85 a week and for your dental it would be $4 a week so we looking at about what close to ninety ninety five dollars a week out of my paycheck. Ninety dollars a week. Okay. Uh, for the right for family. For the four hundred one for the four hundred one k that you mentioned is that matched? Yes, we'll match half your contributions up to seven percent. Okay. All right. Now you mentioned hazmat. Do you require that? No, it's not required. All right, so I don't have my hazmat, and if I decided to get it while I'm with you guys, would you guys reimburse me for getting it? We'll reimburse part of the cost to you, yes. How many how many miles a week a driver can average there? Our average miles right now are averaging between 24 to 2,600 miles a week. All right, so I'm out, like, like I said before, I'm out of Ohio. Uh, is there any regional or dedicated lanes available for me? I don't have anything dedicated or regional out of your area. Um, and the thing that we recruit for, honey, we do, I know we do have regional and dedicated runs within our fleet. And if anything opens up, then they let you know as the drivers that are already in our fleet. So they're not going to give us a, tell us to fill a, a position when we have drivers already in that area that, that would want to want that position, All if right. that makes sense. All right. Now, are all the miles paid, and how's the miles calculated? It's revenue and miles, so it's zip code and zip code. Do you guys have uh, any type of auto idle policies? We don't. Do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? We do, yes. So on the for the scales, we have what we call the drive wise. And then for the tolls, we have the Easy Pass, your Ohio cards, um, the Oklahoma Pike Pass. So if you have to pay for a toll, probably like in Florida, Kansas, or Texas. And yes, we do reimburse on that. Okay. okay. Now this is flat bedding, so there's not much of dropping hook. If it is, what's the percentage on that? Um, it's very low. I really don't have the exact number either on that one because it's very low. A lot of it's life loading and unloading. You mentioned home time. Uh, earlier in the conversation, what's the actual home time policy? Can you, can you uh, tell me again? If you're out for, for every seven days out, you're home for one day. So out of your area, and you're required to be out at least two weeks out. Um, and again, for every seven, you're home for one. If you decide to stay out longer, or say that you do just stay out your two weeks and you only go home for a day here and there, you can accumulate your home time. So you don't lose your home time; you just accumulate it. Okay. What's the maximum amount of What's the maximum amount of days I can actually take off? You can take off as many as you want, but if you if you stay home for more than thirty days, you would have to do a rehire and go back after orientation. Case of a in case of emergency is something like that. If I have a family emergency or or personal emergency is something like that, and I have to get home. Will you guys provide a way for me to get home, or would I have to? Or would, yes. What would be what would be the protocol for that? 
So it just depends what the emergency is. You would have to get with your driver manager, and they'll either, if it's something like you, we can route you home, you're close to home, or do we have to um, park the truck somewhere, get it to a safe spot, you know, and fly you, bus you, whatever we need to do, but we'll get you home, depending, again, what their issue is, what the circumstances are. Okay. All right, so I got so I got a driver manager there. How many other drivers I got to share him with? What's the percentage? Right now, depending on the experience of the driver manager, they have anywhere between forty to sixty drivers per fleet. Okay. What's the uh, pet and rider policy there? Um, meaning, one over the age of eighteen can go with you at all times. Children age of ten to seventeen can go with you during summer months. And you can have a dog or a cat under uh, 80 pounds on the truck. All right. Now, for the rider, now let's say if I decide to go home and my son wanted to come out with me, what's the protocol on that for him to ride with me? You need to get a hold of the compliance department because the, um, your son's mother would have to sign a form allowing your son to go with you on the truck. I do not like driving uh, in New York City or California. Those is my two two places I do not like. Uh, is there force dispatch to New York City or California? There is, yes. So if you were not willing to go in, I would not be able to bring you in. It's very limited freight that we have into New York, um, but it is force dispatch. Okay. So I'm working with you guys. If I decide to quit, what's the policy on turning in the truck? Um, just let us know, you know, that you're leaving so we can go ahead and get you routed in to empty out your truck and, and get it to the terminal. Okay. Can I uh, take my truck home when uh, on my home time? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. What about, uh, what about, now as far as team driving, you says that I, I have to bring my own teammate with me? You, you guys don't match me up? Right. We don't match anybody up with four teams. Okay. You guys offer uh, leasing or lease purchase? No, just company driving. Uh, company street company driving. What equipment do you guys offer? Are they autos or 10 speeds or both? Both. We have 10 speeds and automatics. Okay. So if I choose to be in an automatic, that won't be no problem for me to get into? No, you just have to let us know ahead of time so we can make sure that we put on there that, that we're guaranteeing an automatic so that we wouldn't get orientation there or you know what to issue you. Okay. So this is a flat bedding. Um what right. the, what what the, what divisions what division of flat beds that you I mean flat bedding that you guys got? Like do you guys offer glass division, coil division? No, and we don't have no, we don't have any, anything like that as far as division goes. It's just straight flatbed. Um, we're irregular route, so our not you won't always have the same type of load or same type of freight wings. Um, so that we don't actually have divisions. Okay. For driver comfort, what's the amenities do you guys offer inside the truck? The most of the trucks, uh, well, all the trucks have a 1500 watt inverter. Some still have APUs on them. We are getting rid of the APUs right now because they keep breaking down. Um, that's why we don't have an idle policy. Um, and then some trucks have their refrigerators in them. The ones that don't will be getting them, um, well, the driver won't be getting a truck with their fridge once they turn in their truck because we're upgrading trucks right now. Okay. Does the truck come with a driver cam? Yes, they do. Inside and out or just outside? Both in and out. Okay. Yeah. What's the trust? What's the trust governing that? They're governed at sixty-five. So far, so good. What's your name again? I I forgot that quick. It's it's Lucy. Lucy. Okay. You guys offer an open door policy. We do. Yes, we have open door policy. What's your guys' policies on cell phones? Um, you have a cell phone, but you have to use a head. Um, um, a handless device for your cell phone. The only thing is that if you're on your cell, if we call you and you're driving, we, we can't talk to you. If you're with, with our company, if somebody from our company calls you, they're going to ask you, are you driving? And they say, if you say yes, they say, okay, call me when you're stopped and then hang up. We can't talk to you while you're driving for us. 
um, and our system doesn't notice, doesn't tell us because there's a delay from your computer system to our system. So that's what we don't know if you're driving around. There's a delay that we'll call you, we'll ask, and then we'll hang up. And we tell all the drivers on orientation, so don't get upset or pissed off if, if somebody hangs up on you. It's just that we can't talk to you if you're driving. You can talk to your family or whoever you want on a handless device, but um, not to the company. So you'll have to stop before we can talk to you on the phone. I got a few more questions. Do you guys uh, have have a refresher? No, you're fine. Do you guys have a, a a refresher course for drivers that haven't driven in a while? We do. It just depends when um, when the last time they drove or what they've been doing. So we have somewhat not it's not a full refresher course, but we have something okay. kind of similar. But again, depending on when was the last time they drove and and what they've been doing. All right, Lucy. Tell me, what's the uh, what's the number one reason to drive for uh, Melton? The number one reason, hun, I honestly think it's um, our family atmosphere. Um, our owner, we're not a very big company. I don't know if you know much about Melton. We're not a very big company. We're a very well known company in the industry. Been in business for over sixty years. Our owner, he is very upfront with us about when business is good and when business is bad. Um, I don't know if you, I don't think you were in the business then, but back in '09 when the recession hit and the business went down, I mean, he was very up and honest to our drivers, to our office staff, and ever since then, I mean, he's been honest and up and front about everything, whether we're doing good this year, we're doing bad, what's the quarter like? We have quarterly meetings um, out in our atrium, and when our drivers are in the in the at the terminal here in Tulsa, he invites them all over to hear what he has to say, you know, and and they're open and honest about it as far as hey, freight is good, freight is bad. You know what? What are we doing to change things right now? So it's it's more of a, I guess, of the being upfront about how business is going and not trying to hide it or you know sugarcoat it. Okay, cool, cool. Is there anything you can add? He's sharing the wealth. He's always willing. I mean, he's always sharing. Okay, cool. Is there anything you can add that I haven't touched on? No, I think we touched on a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> Um, not really, and I can't think of anything right now. All right. Oh, actually, um, we need to talk about referrals. But, so we do have what we call a driver referral bonus. If you refer someone, you know, if you're working with Nelson and you refer an experienced driver, you get paid $1,000 for his referral. If you refer a, a student, then you get paid $500 for the student. How is so that? We also offer that extra incentive there. How is that referral paid out, though? You get half of it after they complete 30 days and half of it after they complete six months. Oh, okay. I got a lot of people that's, that that might be interested in the Melton, and I, I will definitely have them guys to, you know, call you, you know, to call you if uh, if they're interested. So make sure you call Lucy. Um, how long you been a recorder? For, how long you been a recorder for the company? I've been here since 2006. Since uh, November of 2006. Okay, okay. So did, did, is this your first foray into trucking, or you've been in it for a while? No, um, no, this is my first time in trucking, so I've been in trucking for 12 years. Um, recruiting, it's been more than that, but trucking, recruiting, it's been, this has been my only stint, and I wouldn't go to any other company to go recruit for it. There's a lot of companies here in Tulsa, but Melton is definitely my top choice. Okay, okay, cool. Well, Lucy, hey, thank you very much for your time. Um, I, let me see. Let me think, let me think for a minute. If I, if I need to get any other information from, you know, from Melton, is there a website that I can go to? And if so, what is that website? Yes, it is Melton, it's M-E-L-T-O-N, and then truck. T-R-U-C-K.com. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, Lucy. Thank you. Let me give you my let me give you my direct number, hun. Oh, okay. Is it uh is it okay to give that number to uh, other people that might be interested in uh in flat day? Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. It is nine one eight. All right. Um two seven zero. All right. Nine six nine zero. All right, because yeah, like, like I said, I'm not I'm I'm not just asking questions for myself, but I'm asking questions for uh, for other right. people, as well as uh, as well as this yeah. you know being is this is also being recorded so that 
if anybody's is interested in coming out to Melton, you know, get with my get with my girl Lucy. That'd be awesome. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome, ma'am. You very and no, thank you for the time and for the information, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. You too, Thank you so much. All right, ma'am. Thank you. You have a be- you have a blessed day. All right. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Too sunny out here. Too too sunny out here. Yes, yes. Well, there you have it. Another great Q and A with Melton Truck Lines. Special thanks to my girl Lucy for giving us the information that we need. If you guys is interested in to Melton Truck Line, give them a call and ask for Lucy. She'll hook you up with any information that you guys may have. Now you might have more questions than I have. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's what I do. I, I start you guys off on the path of trucking greatness that's what i do again lucy melton truck lines thank you very much but that's it that's it for this good ass episode and i say good ass episode of lockout men makes the call if you guys want me to ask any questions leave it in the comments below Make sure you leave your questions and I will ask them for you. If you guys have any trucking companies that you guys want me to give a call, leave that in the comments below and I will put it on the list for them to be called. And shout out to my subscriber, JP. Thank you, brother man, for that uh, call request to Melton Truck Lines. Thank you for being a subscriber and to all my other subscribers and to my new subscribers shout out to you guys as well guys thank you very much i really do appreciate it and stay tuned for the next episode of lockout men face the call i'll talk to you guys later y'all have a blessed day peace